Today, I'm going to show you how I created this eye inside Unreal Engine 5.1. So here is the Unreal Engine 5.1 project. It is just a metahuman. And um, down here, we have a sequencer with the camera. All I've done is change the film back setting here. So we are in vertical. Now, let me step out of cinematic mode and go to unlit for the moment. And all it is, is just a camera pointing at a metahuman. Here we go. It's one I've used before. Imagine you're painting a picture and there's just a blank canvas in front of you. That's what this was done for. Let's go into the skin material. Open up the texture for the face. I've changed the saturation, turn it right down. Vibrance is slightly up. I turned up the brightness. So if I turn it up and down, it changes the image. I messed around with a brightness curve to get rid of. You can see it's got freckles all over this character just to dim those slightly. Okay, let's go back to the material. With this, I typed in animated. And I disabled, by unchecking these boxes, animated albedo and animated normals. So I didn't have to edit every texture. Next is the eye makeup. So I took the eye makeup mask from another metahuman because I didn't like the makeup that came with the metahuman. I made it this color after I had applied lights so it had a certain uh, reflection to it. And then I played with the metalness of the eye makeup and the roughness and obviously things like blusher intensity. And I altered that to turn it right down. Before we jump back to the scene, we need to open up the eye, don't we? So we'll come down, open up the eye material, and here it is. Now, surprisingly, I've made very little changes to this. I have probably changed the iris brightness. If you push this too far, you get some very interesting results. And then if we scroll down, I changed the IV radius from 1 to 2 just to give the iris a, a larger size. And then pupil scale is set to 1.12. See that? But I will show you the logic that is controlling this value later on. And then I played here with iris color 1U, 1V, 2U, 2V, to get the exact color I wanted. So if I play with this, look, we can get an orange eye or blue. So iris color one is basically this part here around the pupil. If we change color look. And then number two is the part around that. I change the iris color balance smoothness here. And that kind of blends between them. Do you see that? I really like that. And then limbus dark man is the bit that goes all the way around the iris. You can make that dark. In this case, I kind of did it so it blended into the iris. For the scalara brightness, it's around 0.29. Oh, we can go brighter. I usually come back and fix that once I have lights in the scene. That's it. It's just a stock eye with those few values changed, basically. So let's jump into the scene then. Now this is I think it's the portrait map from the MetaHuman Lighting Project that you can get on the Epic Marketplace. Basically, what we have is a key light over here, another key light over here, and then this is the backlight. And then what do we have here? Oh, this is the top light, which is not actually above. I'll have moved that there for a reason. Spotlight is uh, the top light, the key light, but... Uh, obviously, these are the actors, and then these are the lights themselves. And that is it. Right, so let's go back to lit, and I can show you the lights individually. Right, so first, let's do the top light that's in the wrong position. It, it seems to be coming from the front, and that's all it's doing. And as you can see, it's creating like a, a light there. Then let's move on to this key light, which is a blue light from my right, the character's left over here. You can see it on the Scalara. And it's kind of off just at the side of the character. And 
it catches the eye makeup look and it creates a metallic effect. I quite like that. And then let's move on to the other key light, which should be green. Yep, there you go. So this is slightly brighter and it's shining from the character's right, my left. This way, and it catches these eyelashes here. See how they're green? And that was done by adjusting the roughness on. That was done by adjusting the roughness on the hair material itself. And I did the same with the eyebrow. I turned down the melanin and adjusted the roughness until it blended into the character. Here in the eye, we have this kind of pattern. And all that is, is if we go to the key light here, it is a texture, which again was from a free pack at the time, the IES lighting pack. I'm not sure it's free anymore, but it was one of those uh, free for a month things, I think. Then if we scroll down, I don't think there's anything else on this. No. Nope. And... What I've done is adjusted the uh, radius of each of these lights to make sure they only affect the part of the character that I want. So if I turn the radius down, look, it disappears. If I go too much, it'll go too far that way. And I don't want that. I, for, sometimes it's good to wrap around the character like that. I think it looks beautiful. But in this case, I wanted it to end right here. You see that? Kind of there. And the eye is popping out like that because of uh, the brightness of the iris that changed it this color in the first place. So it, it just become it like illuminates. As soon as you put a light on it, it just looks really bright. And that is it for how the character looks. But now, obviously, if I click play, this is happening. Okay, so it's getting a little bit late here in the UK. I'm going to go to bed now, so I'm going to separate this one into two parts. The next part will be in the next couple of days, and I will cover blinking, pupil movement, eye movement, etc. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Look at the top of his head! <laughs>